This video is going to demonstrate how to divide a three-digit dividend by a two-digit divisor. Now to divide a uh, problem, you need to know the terms. And this is your dividend divided by your divisor. But when you write in a bracket, the dividend goes inside the bracket, and the divisor is on the outside. So if I want to divide 58 into 986, um, I want to use those first two items and do 58 into 98 one time. 1 times 58 does equal 58. And that seems simple enough, but it gets a little more difficult when you bring down the 6. We want to use some estimation techniques to see how many times 58 goes into 406. One idea is to round the 58 to 60 and think 60 times what is right around 406. I would think 60 times 6, or 6 times 6 is 36, so 60 times 6 would equal right around 360. So I think that's a good starting point for multiplying. Since it's close, I'm also going to try multiplying 58 times 7 and see where that takes us. So 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 5 is 30 plus the 4, 34. So 348 is a little bit on the low side here. But when we try this one, 8 times 7 is 56. 7 times 5 is 35 plus 5 is 40. We're right there. And so we know that 7 is our term, 7 times 58 is 406, telling us we have no remainder, and our final answer is 17. So, dividend 986 divided by divisor 58 equals the quotient 17. We're going to now try a second item, and this is a 4-digit dividend divided by a 3-digit divisor. Makes it a little bit more difficult, but again, estimation is your key for solving. Remember, when you make your bracket, your dividend goes on the inside, and your divisor on the outside. 173 going into 824 is not an easy decision to make. So we want again round. I think that 200 goes into 800 four times. So I'm going to try 173 times 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 7 is 28 plus 1 is 29. 1 times 4 is 4 plus 2 is 6. 692 I think is a good place to begin and we can go ahead and subtract. That was a 4 that goes there. 4 minus 2 is 2. We're going to borrow here, make that a 7, make that a 12. 12 minus 9 is 3 and 7 minus 6 is 1. We're now going to bring down our next item and now it's time to estimate how many times 173 goes into 1,321. Again, 200 is a good number to work with, so I'm thinking since 200 times 6 would be 1,200, and 200 times 7 would be 1,400, I think both of those are good numbers to start with. So we're going to do 173 times 6, and 173 times 7. Now neither of those are guaranteed to work, but I think they're going to be pretty close. 3 times 6 is 18, 6 times 7 is 42, plus 1 is 43. 1 times 6 is 6, plus 4 is 10. And you can see we're a little bit on the low side there. Let's try this one. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 7 is 49, plus the 2 is 51. And 1 times 7 is 7, plus the 5 is 12, giving us 1,211. We use the 7. You can see that there will be a remainder here, and our remainder is 110. And our correct answer here would be 47 with a remainder of 100.